Hey guys, back here again with another video, another Goal Zero video. And this time I'm going to talk about the Sherpa 100 battery pack here, made by Goal Zero. And this is a lithium ion NMC type. And it's a 100 watt hour battery, really 98 watt hours. 11 volts at 8800 milliamps. The single cell equivalent would be a capacity of a 26,400 milliamp battery at 3.7 volts. The life cycle is hundreds of uh, charges. So basically one cycle is from uh, deplete to full charge. Charge three to six months or you could keep it plugged in just like the other batteries. And it does have a 20 amp replaceable fuse and has overcharge and low battery charge circuit protection built in. So in terms of the ports here, you've got, let's see, you've got the two USB ports, five, volt up, five volts up to 2.1 amps and 10 watt max regulated. Six millimeter port, that's the green hexagonal one for the 12 volt, volts at 10 amps, 120 watt max regulated. And I guess that's for the Gold Zero branded uh, accessories, the six millimeter port, like the, the lights, whatever. And interesting about this, it has a laptop port. It's a 7.4 millimeter, it's the orange square with 19 volts up to six amps, 120 watt max regulated. The sidecar port, which is a nine millimeter or chaining, nine to 13 volts up to 10 amps, 120 watts max. And that's what you're seeing connected to here. So this is the actual battery here. And this is the uh, AC inverter that I plugged into it. So you can plug in household plugs and what have you. The AC inverter, the US version is you know sold separately. It doesn't come with a battery. It's 110 volts up to 0 0.9 amps, 100 watt max, and that's 60 hertz. And I believe the international version is 220 volts up to 50, no, up to 0.45 amps at 50 hertz. And there, and it uses a modified sound wave, sine wave, not sound wave, for the uh, AC adapter there. And the charging port input is an eight millimeter blue cord, or blue circles, and that's 14 to 22 volts, and up to three amps at 45 watts max. So they're kind of standardizing the uh, Version. I used to have the older Sherpa 120 that uses a, I think a 4.7 millimeter. So they're kind of standardizing with the 8 millimeter now. So you can chain up to two Sherpa 100s. Again, it, just like the other batteries, it doesn't increase the power output. So it doesn't increase the amperage. It just increases the, the runtime basically, the capacity. It weighs 1.9 pounds or 864 grams. It has a UV coated to prevent scratches. I don't know what that means actually. It's got coating on the thing itself. I'm not sure. The dimensions are 5.8 by 1.5 by 5.25 inches. And the operating usage temp they recommend is from 32 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 to 40 Celsius. And it has a six month warranty. To give you an idea, the charge times is from the wall is 40 with 45 watt is three hours. The car charger from the car adapter, AC adapter, is 30 watts at four hours. The using the Nomad 13 panel, 15 to 30 hours. Then using the Nomad 20 panel, 10 to 20 hours. And the Boulder 90 will charge the sucker in three to six hours, which I have. I plan on checking that out seeing how that works even though the maximum watts is 45 I'm not sure how the Boulder 90 is going to charge it that much faster maybe it bumps the charge controller who knows um, and they say it's okay to leave it plugged in um, or just cycle it three to six months so if you don't have it plugged in for a while just charge it up and if you don't plan on using it for a year or so, they say to charge it half full and remove the fuse to prolong the battery life. And it is okay to charge and use the battery at the same time. 
So that's the pass through charging. And I guess it takes more energy when using the inverter over the 12 volt port. So if you don't have to, disconnect this piece and use the battery or when you store it. Yeah, so there's the back. And this fan will turn on if the inverter gets hot. That's normal. It's the bottom of the battery there. You just unscrew this to take this thing off here. Yeah, let's see what else. Guess that's pretty much it. Fairly nice battery, it's nice and compact. You could probably take this hiking, camping if you want, throw it in your backpack, it's not too big. Yeah, you have the advantage of charging something directly from the uh, AC port, which is nice. Yeah, let's see if I can get a shot of that. Let's turn the battery on. And then you can turn these ports on or off. It's got an LED light. And so you turn the inverter on. I think you can turn off the light on the USB. If you tap really quick, it shuts the lights off. It still keeps the battery on. But it does not turn off these ports that I know of. Just tap really quick. It turns the blue USB light back on. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty pretty nice. Nice design. And it should charge most things. You just got to be aware of the limitations. It is 100 watt hour. And, you know, the amperage. Also charge your phones. Anything that uses a... Uh, anything that will fit in your pocket pretty much, this thing will charge or top off. It's good to have. Alright guys, that's it for the Goal Zero Sherpa 100.